Hello and welcome back to Darkwood. This is day 16 of our trials. Oh hey, a bottle! I'm gonna give that to three because there's literally nothing else worth doing with it. Ah, I have some recollection of what it was that I was trying to do. Enough, I think, to not be totally lost. So if I remember correctly, what I want to do, uh, well, one, is repair that axe, because it is nearly dead, and that is terrible. How did I not notice this before? How sleepy have I been when I've been playing these? Anyway, um, I want to start up the hideout in the old woods, but first I want to wrap up some stuff in the old, in the forest, including, I don't know where the M key is on my keyboard anymore, apparently. Um, I want to go see what the dead rats do with the musician, if anything, and possibly the wolf. And I think that's all that there's, all that I really gotta do here. Um, I don't have any outstanding items or quests. I just gotta go find the kid's parents, and then I can get to the old woods. I did the church ruin. Oh no no no! That's the other thing. Yeah, I did the church ruins, and I got the key. So I need to visit Wolf, so we can uh, we can open up the the key, the the, the box. So those two places are. Right next to each other, I think I'm gonna go to the wolf first. Just cause, well, there's more to that one. And I think then we'll finally be out of here. Still don't know, still haven't taken time to try and like inspect the old videos to find out if that hole has always been right there. What? Really? Why? Come on. Why? Please enter the fire. Oh, it's not real fire, great. Can you just help? No? Thanks, Wolf. Thanks. Uh, and now my thing is worn. That's what I'm complaining about. But yeah, we got a ton of wood. I think we'll be able to start up the other hideout pretty well. He does not take this or the dead rats. I don't want the sheep meat. Yeah, I don't blame you. It is just a dead rat. Uh. I know this guy. Pathetic sob. Uses Quack Doctor, but he did manage to screw you over at that key of yours, eh? I thought we heard that one before, but maybe... Maybe that was the lost footage, quote-unquote. Give me that! Wolf snatches the box from my hands. Muttering under his breath, he begins to open the box. After a while, the j lid gently slids, that should be slides, open, and he peeks inside, curiously. He looks at it in silence, then he returns his gaze to me. Is this a joke? Cool, good old child drawings. So, tuck, tuck. Is that bird? Polish for bird? I'm guessing it is. Maybe it's crow. I'm not sure. Okay. Well, happy house in the woods, smoking fireplace. But the dog ate a mushroom, and burek, which I, did someone translate that one? It either means dead or buried. I'm guessing it means. Dead. I don't know why, that just seems like what that sounds like. And they're sad, but daddy's always happy, I guess, ish. Um, okay, and then dad's, you know, going at his uh, the dog house, because they don't have a dog anymore, and they're swinging. I don't know how to read this one exactly, it's like they don't mind, or are they moving on, or what? Then the house explodes. Um, and then they're in that line that we saw in the church dream. Presumably, because it's, you know, guy with trench coat. This is either the doctor or the priest. Okay, yeah, well, they, they both have a coat like that, so it's hard to say. Um, taking people in. I think you can see, like, there's the musician right here. And there's, um, there's the family. I don't know who that is. Is that Piotrek, maybe? I don't know. Probably not. I don't know who the girl with the baby is. I'm just pointing out that, like, these are the only ones that have colors. Which is, are they important? Or are they just randomly the ones that the child decided to color? And they're in the dark together. And I also like the detail, which I've pointed out before, and I like that they've kept it. That, uh, like, up to here, everything's pretty clear and clean, and then it gets a little dirty here. And so you can see that, like, there's a, there's a little dirty throughout, but these are clearly more worn and burned pages than the ones at the beginning. 
I like that detail. It's nice. Wolf takes a few pieces of paper from the box and throws them at the ground. Along with them, there's a small, shining stone. What is this bullshit? You're wasting my time, meat. What I'm really curious about is, uh, what he expected to find in there. Because clearly he had something in mind, and that was not, what came out was not it. Okay, so I get a weird stone out of that. Do you like weird stones? Yes. But not rats. Or bottles. Uh... I don't know that I will ever need anything from you, with the three being a thing. I really hope that at some point they incorporate um, vendors that have different prices. Because that's the only thing that's missing, I feel, right now. Like, things have a pretty uniform value. Um, and I'm okay with these things having the same sell value for everyone, even though that's not exactly realistic either. But just from a, like, you know, pure convenience standpoint, it's nice to know that this thing goes for 10 for everyone, as opposed to having to remember who, who wants how much for what. But uh, it would be nice if, like, the wolf, um, they give you cheaper bottles and crap he doesn't like. Uh, and pay, maybe paid less for your bottles too. That kind of price differentiation would would be fine. Or played more. Wait, he would pay less because he's willing to. You would get more reputation by giving him stuff he likes, less by giving him stuff he doesn't like. And as long as those fall under like pretty predictable lines, it'd be fine. I think it would be a cool way to like make you. Right now they have different inventories a little bit. Like I think. He's probably the only one you can get the medium caliber magazine out of. Um, but I think the three will give you most of the things here, and, and the red chicken egg, I guess. So, alright, well, good job, Wolfie, I guess. I should murder you one day. Um, and then... Oh! Convenient. I have... I think I lost a bunch of time on one one day looking through the woods for that thing, and I just stumbled upon it now. How serendipitous. I guess south. Oh, hello. Here we are. There's an entrance right there. I'm just immediately remembering because of the awkward way I had to walk there of how much I do want to try the tank controls. I think they'd be horrible just just because I'm not used to them. But it might work out. Can I show him the dead rats? No. All right. Well, that's un that's disappointing yet unsurprising. But the three will th will take them. I'm gonna ditch the dead rats. What's that? Oh, whatever. I can waste more time here. Wait a minute. Uh, I was about to say that, like, so did the boy make his own mask from here, but I think he mentioned that the doctor gave him the mask carved out from the wood. So I guess that's, hmm, that's about as close to official, an official explanation for the, the wood mask in the prologue as there is, really. He's been making them and giving them to the people as some kind of... Well, I doubt it has any actual medicinal value, but just as a hide your ugliness kind of thing. Do I want to waste? Uh, no. Priority, let's go set up that very, very treacherous hideout. I'm gonna ditch the weird stone in here too, because I don't need it. Or the bottles, actually. I'm gonna go ahead and cook. Well, no. No, let's cook it. Oh yeah, that's... Yes! Yes! There is one more thing that we need to do. And that's... The, uh, I'm gonna use this. No. Yeah. This might last less time than bread, if I think about it, but at least I don't have to do anything. Wobble, wobble, wobble. I forgot about the larva. I am glad that I did not just rush off somewhere. You know, for a skill, this really should last longer. I should... I feel like... I know this game's thing is being hard and everything, but I feel like having a once-a-day once use skill like that, I should be able to pretty much run... Like, run across the forest, maybe? 
Have I been here? Uh, hi. Don't worry about me. I'm sorry. I intruded. Didn't mean to. I need to see a map, though. Oh, I've never been here before. Fine. You know what? Come here. I didn't want to do it, but you might have cool stuff. Eh, fine. The guys throwing rocks are less problematic. I'm just gonna make sure I don't run in a straight line away from them and I'm good. Alright, well, as far as I can tell, there's nothing of value here. Well, see, we found another location. Perhaps it is worth exploring after all. Where are you going? Alright. Hmm, searchable corpse. Yeah, yeah. Ow. Eh, I'm still not any good at the combat, turns out. I don't think I need more sticks, frankly. Or, well, no, rags, they're kinda useful, or bottles. Yeah, I'm gonna stick with this. Um, where? Hmm, I think it's further down. Actually, because this is pure tracks, right? Yeah. So is there just giant thing in the middle? Okay. Sure. Ah, already half the day is gone. I might have just wasted this day in getting this larva thing again. Why don't I ever pick it up and just hold on to it? I'm not sure. Oh. Oh, that's great. I did pick it up. Fantastic. It just hasn't changed in any way to indicate this. Oh, well, that's depressing. Can I make it in time? Frankly, probably. I have, what, until 7.30? And I just gotta board up a bunch of shit? There's a minimal set of things I gotta board up, too, so I don't have to board up everything. I wonder if there are actually more dogs out when I hear that. Because at night, that, that howling sound that hopefully you hear as well, um, it means that there's, like, huge dogs gonna go everywhere. But it's not so clear what it is that it does in the middle of the day. Like, I hear it, and I guess it's eerie, but it's also the kind of thing, it, it's, um... Shoot. It's one of those things that you can't do too much because then it just becomes normal. I think I've cleaned out the truck, but I want to make sure. What? There you are. Yeah. I'll take the logs. Stay, stay to your side. Yeah, I'm almost of the opinion, becoming of the opinion, that the bread is actually more useful than that skill. Which is sad in a lot of ways. Because it's bread. Uh, damn it all. No, this is the right way. I'm also super vulnerable to that, aren't I? I forgot that I signed up for that. Are you poppable? Yes. Could crate, but I won't. Need to get to other place. Okay, cool. Do I have... no? Alright. I'm gonna run now. Oh, well, I can't. Great. This was... this went more poorly than I had hoped. I don't know what that is and I'm not sure that it matters. I need to find out what that is. Bottle. Nope. Alright, well. I guess that's uh, leaving the old wood behind, I hope. Or dying miserably. One of those two will happen. Guaranteed. So I need to go northeast? Northeast. In chomper infested land.
hate the hum. The hum is terrible. I also like, and I think I've pointed this out before, the detail that uh, the breathing noises, I think, for, um, sure, for chompers, sounds a lot like the rustling of trees. I'm gonna just empty this up. Medium caliber bullets are completely worthless to me. Uh oh, wait. Uh. Okay. Frankly, I'm a little surprised, but okay. I thought it would turn on me. North! North! That's where I need to go from the church. But I don't really know the relative placement between the icon and the actual thing. Shut up, music. You're not helping. Don't go creepy on me now. I need to reach. Oh. Nope. I do not want to engage anything right now. I need to get to the hideout, hail a strange man who will do anything I want in exchange for alcohol, and yeah, get my stuff. Because that's a thing. Oh man, that's a thing. I have to wait. Alright, so, before I forget, let's ring this thing. Something happened. We don't know what, but it happened. Guaranteed. All right, because but oh yeah, okay, cool. Let's let's not screw ourselves over entirely. Sixty-four for one stupid mushroom. That's insane. All right, if I, he used to show up. Yeah, there he is. Hey you. I have a favor to ask. Beautiful. If you want, I could bring the stuff from your other hideout here. Yes, please. To which hideout should I go? Hideout two. On it, boss. And off he disappears. Okay. I heard you. Don't think I didn't. Uh, yes. And there was gasoline, but I didn't pick it up because I'm dumb. I think I just have to get it to reload. I'm not totally sure though. I think it just takes a minimum amount of time. Which would make me unhappy. But also not surprise me. Okay. What is what is over there? I hear you. 540. This is cutting it close. I need to board up so much crap. I need to board up at least this thing. Where is it? Is there a package package anywhere? Does he take a fixed number of hours? Ah, <sighs> well I'm ready to die here if I need to. That won't be that bad. Everything is pretty close. So ow. Doop doop. I don't have any wood or nails on me, do I? Is this it? That's nothing. Well, at least the general. At least I will have light, so I can see my inevitable doom. This ain't great. How long does he take? Is it proportional to how much stuff you have? That would make sense. Oh, here it is. Great. Holy crap! That's a lot of shit. Uh, wood. Wood. I have a ton of nails. Alright, let's do this. I don't care about anything else right now. We'll try and do the rest when I can. I don't even have a good, uh... Alright, let's, uh... Board this up. Board this up. Um... Barricade that. But I think that's kind of wasted work if I don't also deal with this, because that's an open path. So I think I can actually barricade this as well. Oh shit. Package? Wood? Should be more wood. 
Is that all the wood? I'm not seeing it. Where's wood? Damn it all. I could go make some, but it's too late. So we're gonna have to... We're gonna have to try this. Damn it. All right. Whew. We might not make it. I need more wood. I can't go off to the package either. Because that would be suicide. Because that's open, right? Like, it's not totally clear. Let me see if I can get it in range. They're outside. There somewhere. And here. But they're not inside yet. That's all that matters. That's that's all I need. But see that that's a gap up here. So all of this is the outside. This is the only place that you can even remotely like fortify. Because you can wall this off and you can wall so you can wall this off. Right? And then there's a door here, and then this is all behind stuff. So this is... I don't think there's a way to fortify that. Uh-oh. I heard you. Go away. I hate chompers. Uh, what? What? Where? Oh. Okay. That was wasteful of you, I guess. But we're okay as long as you stay over there. Why? Why do you hate doors? Oh man, no, I'm not going for it. There is literally a chopper right there. Hi. What? No, go away. Can I shoot over this? Okay, he lost interest. I guess. I'm gonna go over here now. Ah, oh, shit. It's no longer safe over here. Can they see in the dark? Like, am I safer because this is dark? I really don't know. Why did it just go through and destroy a bunch of random doors? What is wrong with you? suspiciously quiet now. The plus side though is that as soon as we survive one night we have the time stop to get our bearings. I'm really glad it lost interest. So glad. Oh come on. No. No. Please no. Ah, uh, I'll have to run somewhere. This hideout's huge, too. Alright. Oh, okay. That's not terrible. The generator really is the best you could do. Okay, so that is them. I hope they're at least kind enough to, like, get rid of any monsters that are nearby when this happens. Stop hitting stuff. It's scary. I am now outside. Oh, great. Alright, who's next? It's about as close to a central location as it gets. 
Uh, so this is bad. Okay, good. The reason that's especially terrible is because this hideout is confusing. So, okay. This is... I, th that's the other thing. I guess I'd kind of forgotten about that. That, uh... The way the lights work out is such that... Wait, that one's on the outside. This would require me to go outside. To survive. That is not fair. <laughs> that is not the least bit fair. That makes it, I guess, advantageous to, um, this light makes it advantageous to have leave that door unlocked. Unblocked. Alright. Turn this off just out of paranoia. Hey, you three. Do I get more for surviving here? No. Wait. No. That was a hundred. Ah. Oh. Appreciate the vote of confidence, at least. Oh, I can give you the meat. That's good. I'll take just my usual for now. I really hope at some point there's an item for them. It seems like there is gonna be, but yeah. 96. Oh man. 200. That is a lot of essence at once. I feel like I should buy wood for them. I'm gonna buy wood from them. Because, yes, I should. I got so much crap to fortify. Alright. Do I have more nails in here? Somewhere? Anywhere? Do I have this? I can stack that. Uh, in rags. Oh, in the toolbox. Why did I not. I wanted to do... I can't upgrade because I don't have the welder, isn't that it? Alright. So, I don't see any nails. Oh, there are nails. And that's all I got. Okay. Cool. Oh, I got more nails and more wood. I wish I had known those were there. Let me go ahead and stash you in here, though, because the, this thing is does not belong anywhere other than here. Neither does the wire. Well carry around the wire. For now, I'll carry around the wire. Um, and I'll need gas. How much gas do I have in here? I have another full tank and a slightly less than full tank. Can't populate you? Fine. Um, generator first. Can I block this off with like a, a wardrobe, I wonder? That would. Is there anything useful in you? No. Okay. Prepare to watch me push wardrobes for a while. It's not exciting. I'm sorry. I'll try to talk over it to keep it interesting, but I promise nothing. Ah, you know this reminds me of the. Um... So before they did the whole efficiency thing. That's good. That's great. Before they did the efficiency thing, they had this other scheme where uh, the different areas, so when they, what had they done? They'd added the biomes, but the ovens, the ovens from previous alphas were all the same. Like, every oven, every, every location, well, initially there was actually only one oven, then they added multiple hideouts. And, um, that worked, as far as it goes, but... Um, there wasn't really, like, it was very punishing to, you'd, you'd go into, like, this area and just get the same rewards and it didn't feel great. Um, so they made it so that, really? I managed to do that. I managed to run into it literally at the same moment that I opened it. So I guess the problem with these wardrobes is that they're not blocking. Like, this doesn't actually block line of sight. That might be okay. I'm okay with something running uselessly at me. That's totally acceptable. Not getting killed is the real goal. 
Ugh, does it go slower when there's multiple things? I hope not. That would be annoying. It probably does. But yeah, so they, they did that there used to be different grades of mushrooms. Because you used to find... You know all the poison must mushrooms that there are around everywhere? Those used to be what you picked... Like, you could harvest... There were fewer of them, for one thing. But you'd harvest those to, uh... To, you know, transform into essence. So you can level up. Uh, there were a number of them, though. And it meant that there was a steady... There was a steady source of XP if you needed, if you needed to grind for whatever reason. But... Uh, I guess it was hard to balance, like, I don't know, it just wasn't that great to just have, like, okay, in this area there's super mushrooms, and in this area there's lesser mushrooms. They've kind of affected the same thing, um, but while giving you the standard reward for surviving, which I think is really cool, like, I like that, um, I don't want to get out of the time stop accidentally. Oh. I'm gonna have to risk it, I guess. Please don't load, please don't load. Okay, cool. Just enough. So there's just enough stuff around here that it's, yeah, we can do this. This is a pr really viable way of fencing this off from the entry from that direction. I will definitely barricade every one window that I can, though. I understand that banshees are a thing, but I care less. At this point, I feel like I should just do the basics, and uh, we'll get back to something more. Um, we'll do the subtler things later when we, when we have everything sort of filled out. Oh great, cool. Low on battery again. I'm still frankly surprised that that actually comes through. Like it's actually a sound that gets recorded. Um, Cause that means that it's being made by software on the PC and not by anything on the actual headset, which is what I'd always thought it would be for some reason. Like it makes total sense that you wouldn't do that. There's no reason to go through that much effort for something like that, but... I don't know. It just seemed like it might be a useful thing to do. Ah, <sighs> all right. Keeping in mind that shadows are a thing, what should we do here? I'm feeling like I want to leave this because. So what are what are we at right now? Oh yeah, this door's broken. This door definitely should not be broken. What are we at right now? Uh. Uh, oh, there's a wall here. I somehow haven't paid enough attention to see that before. There's this guy, which I can use to blockade something that I need, I guess. But I used I, I used this last time to blockade like everything past here, so I wouldn't have to worry about that. But the shadows have made me paranoid. Gasoline, in you go. Yes, welder. Oh, I have a welder. I just need wood. I will promptly transmute gasoline into wood then. I like. So he did pick up the stuff from the wood chipper, I guess, because that is literally all of my wood stumps. See, so this could have meant that I kept living if. Um, no, not the batteries. If uh, the shadows had actually started and I hadn't gotten lucky. Um, I forgot the brain. Oh, wait. No, that that's silly. So, okay, we have this point of entry and this point of entry. And we kind of want it to be open-ish. So that... I'm not screwed if I have to run outside. So this one's especially nice because if that's the light that survives, I think I might be able to, like, go here or, you know, just poke myself out a teensy bit from there. It's the other light that's problematic. I guess the odds are low enough that maybe I'll just try and, like, power through that one with, uh... I don't know. With 
health items and then uh and then just like do the the heal when in the light trick all right uh at least all the windows are boarded up now so that's good do i want to do more i usually boarded this up just because there's never really a good reason to run that way I really need to make wood. I'm tempted to put these two back and maybe board this guy up just to make this path longer. Uh, but really the only way for chompers to get in is if they break in somewhere, which is problematic for a number of reasons. I guess I have that extra layer of stopping power there. They'd have to break in from somewhere or at least two layers, right? It's like this one. They'd have to break in through that or that, and then this, and then assuming that I'm down here, this thing. If they come from up there somehow, they'd have to break through this or that, um, and then the additional door. So this is actually, the back is actually pretty safe. I mean, I might have to keep repairing it, which is the annoying part. It's the front that's the weak point. Like, can they get in here somehow? I don't think so. They could break in and then get get through all of this, which I don't think there's any helping that because that's all almost all open anyway. Like, we can keep something from going through here, I guess, but I don't know that it's worth it. Really, the only way is through here. Right, like they would have to come through this thing, which I kind of want to leave as an option because I might need to get to this lamp, or this lamp, in a shadow situation. So what I'm thinking of doing is grabbing that wardrobe and moving it somewhere out here. Straight up out here is an option, um, but then I think it'll just get pushed around a lot too easily. Um, I could move it here or so, and then in the event of, well, or here, and then when there are shadows I would pull it out so that I can, I can uh, not die immediately. For now, I think I'm fine with using the one that they can see. Well, no, let's not. Uh, uh, I, I've tried to use the one they can see over before, and it turns out they can see over it, and then they attack me, and it's not great. Ah, I guess this is going to be an episode with a lot of wardrobe pushing in it, isn't it? That's okay. Welcome to Darkwood, folks. Wardrobe pusher the game. You might think it's terrible as it is, but it used to be worse. It used to be that this was like the dominant strategy for surviving the night, was you would just sort of make a little cubby of wardrobes and just cower. It wasn't a lot of fun, but it was effective. That was all I needed, really. stuff. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm glad they've made the lights more interesting, because I didn't really have my hopes up for this game when it was nights are just a hide-in-the-corner thing. Like, it's immersive in, in a very crude sense of that word, but it's not engaging in any way. <laughs> Like, well, if I was surrounded by these beasts, um, yeah, 
I just cower in the night. Initially, they did a thing where you were supposed to, uh, I think the wiki still reads this, or at least did for, until fairly recently, that the shadows are like a thing that happens whenever you go into dark. That's because that was true in Alpha 4, I think? Um, it used to be that you would, uh, anytime you weren't in the light while, while at night time would be, would be a, uh, you know, shadows would start attacking you after a brief moment. So you had a little window where you, you could go off and, and run and do your thing, but, uh, it wasn't very long. But that's pretty speedy too, so if I see shadows coming, I can do that, and then when I'm sure they're going away, I can pull it back up. It's not the best, because it makes noise, and if chompers spawn, it'll be bad. But we can at least give it a go, see how it goes. Yeah, okay, I'm pretty happy with this. Now then, for our real challenge, which is getting all this shit in here, and then organizing it. And I think I'm going to spare organizing it for the next day's episode, because I've done enough box pushing for one episode. I just want to make sure I get all that, I get this all into places that make sense. Yeah, I don't know, can this be improved somehow? Because uh, it's not, this isn't a lot of fun. I really, I'm really of the opinion that just the, this thing, the workbench, this should just be shared. It should just be magically shared. I mean, the workbench itself already is. It's not like it's a huge leap of faith. What did I get? Oh, that must have been in here. I, I thought I'd given away all my alcohol to the bike man. Indeed I had, but I had extra alcohol in here, probably. Ugh. So he actually does seem like he goes through all of the appropriate places now. Which is nice. As opposed to just some of them, which was awkward. Alrighty. Cool. This is, this is just tedious. It's just click on things until... click shift click, by the way. That's how I... that's how you, um... Just blip stuff over. Shift click stuff for a while is not the best engagement from a video game. Ah, you keep these. I'll go dump them outside. I did not need all of those. I really didn't need all of those. I don't know why I closed that. Is that one of them? Cool. Yeah, I'm just gonna start dropping these here. I should figure out where it is that I want to keep everything. Because I have this thing, and I have this thing. Which I'm tempted to, you know... I really want to put this wardrobe somewhere where it might serve as an additional stopgap. And move this lamp, because it's kind of... I don't want it shining outwardly like that. I want it in here where it can help the darkness be less dark. So maybe that's it. We'll move this over in front of the wardrobe. Like over down here near the lamps. The lamp shines over it. It's even like not a terrible not a terrible idea for an actual real place. Here's a low storage unit with a lamp behind it. Is that my... Oh god. Really? It's already this bad? I'm gonna rebuild it because I don't trust it. Ugh. Right. It's all over here now. Where are you, Wood? There you are. Nails? There we go. Cool. And bam. I know the one thing I've always done, and that remains a good idea, is to put the, uh... Yeah, you know what? That's fine. We'll live with that. That looks fine. 
ways to put the uh, gasoline all in here. Because that makes sense. It's a generator. Uh, medical items. Oh, right. So, okay. Wood and nails. Um, ammo. Where should ammo go? I'm thinking you. And we'll put health items in the... Well, no, well. Mm. Put ammo out here, actually. Because... I think if I'm l ill prepared with ammo, I kind of deserve deserve what I get, <laughs> basically. I'll keep one extra magazine. I forgot how many rounds there were in just one magazine. There are a lot. There are more than I remember there being. There may be more than there. There may be more than there were previously. Um, the, yes, that's all I had. Oh, this is the right way. I want you to be medicine cabinet, so I'm going to shove all that in there, because I know there's three more somewhere over here. I wish this would start collapsing, because right now it's massive. Alrighty, so... Pills, 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 pills. See, that's another problem. It used to be... Um, I'm sure I've mentioned this already at some point, but the weird stones used to be that you would take the weird stones and you would make uh, not cook them but you would you would transform them into that definitely goes in here flares less obviously yep those those definitely belong in here you would transform them into level up items to grow your stamina and health and that's what this bar, see the blue bar down here? That used to indicate, well, it used to indicate how leveled up you were for some reason. I think it did that even recently, it just, maybe it's just, just breaks sometimes. Which is unfortunate. Bolt handle, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be using that, frankly. Um, but I've got a lot of, I just need more wood and I can upgrade. Really tempted to do that. Noble stuff. Gas! So much of it. That's a lot of gas. I'm proud of that. Uh, you, because yes. And you? I don't know. I'm running out of space already. Which makes me scared. Because we barely started. We've done literally nothing. And I'm already running low on space. Uh, oh, stuff. Most of this stuff should go in here. Actually, almost all of it should. Um, this shouldn't. This shouldn't. This all is fine. I have two welders. That's great. That's a lot of level up cards. This inventory gets smaller, or is it just me? I think it's just me. I think I'm just going crazy. I, I really haven't gotten leather in a long time. How am I supposed to level up without any leather? Excellent question to have without any context whatsoever. Weapon parts, weapon parts, weapon parts. Nails! Oh, wait. Am I maxed out on nails? Why do they do that? I'm shift clicking them and they just toggle. It's weird. Weapon parts, that doesn't belong in. Yeah, I don't understand why that happens. You belong in here! You belong in. No, wait. Yes, yeah, that's what I wanted to do. Not that I think about it. Bolt handle, bolt handle. Weapon parts. Uh, matches? I mean, why not? I have a lot of them. <sighs> is this... the only thing you can do with that is that, and that is not a great use of your efforts. At least it hasn't been historically, and I'm not about to give it a try, give it a chance. Uh, so I've got some stuff to sell to the three in here too. Alright, I'm gonna try something different, I guess, which is that this is also a storage place, and I'm gonna put all of the stamina items I do want. Well, let's take the pills instead of the bread, because the bread's real good stuff, and the pills are less good stuff kinds of items in here, and health items in the other one, which fragments it in a really annoying way, 
but it's the only way to fit everything. Those are health items. Okay. Oh my god. I don't know how you're watching this if you're still watching this, frankly. Hopefully you just, like, put me on background and listen to me talk or some other nonsense like that, because at this point, I am literally, this is, I am just inventory managing, but that is, you know, unadulterated, lo no, and, and fucking up royally, um, that is a big part of this game, is just, I think potatoes are stamina items, I like, I have so many of these, oh yeah, yes, I remember now, this is why I bring up the, um, the reason I bring up that is because it used to be more these use these are I guess they're still valuable because they're so fast um, and consequence free I guess at this point it really doesn't make sense to not use them I'm gonna go ahead and carry one batch because it used to be that you could get more health so the pills became the pills used to be more important just because of that because you would have so much health that it would take like if you needed if you were hurt and you needed to get it back quickly, the only feasible way to do that would be to, I don't think that's useful anymore, would be to, uh, to get, like, take a pill or two. Usually the pill. I think the pill always took you all the way back to full, unless you did something really bad. But, uh, finally the package gun. That was so much crap. I'm gonna give this the three. Probably claim an extra thing. Tape. This is already almost full. I mean, in some ways, it's genuinely full. Sell those two. Sell the rats. Stash this. Where am I gonna stash that? <laughs> the broken generator. What do I do with that? What's the right thing to do with that? Can I? I can't eat it. Thankfully. Thankfully this game is not stooped to like, yes, I found a silver winning ring, nom 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 nom. Uh, that would be fantastic. Oh! Their mushrooms rotted. That's mean game. That's real mean. Okay, you can have rats. Cool. I'm glad those have wasted space in my inventory for as long as they have. Um, I also need to put the bike thing somewhere. Technically, I don't. I can just drop crap on the floor. But I feel like I should take the wet. Well, I'm gonna keep the wedding ring for now because maybe it has some bearing on the the quest. Like I'm wondering if maybe I have to go off and uh, like show it to him or get him to give it to the the lady. Before I go though, uh, well, I was hoping to wrap up, but first wood, because I want to upgrade stuff before I forget about it. So, wood, 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 wood. Come here, gas. I don't know how much I need. Two batches should be good though. More than enough. Yeah, whatever. It really should be the case that you can fill this up with wood and still make planks out of it, because that makes sense. Like, okay, I don't know. Still a little bit leaning heavily on the inventory management darkwood, but I'm sure it'll get better with the time. I need two more. I have bought everything I can. Alright, well, I mean, I have the gasoline. I'm gonna regret those words, I'm sure. Deeply regret those words. Uh, right, okay, cool. Um, I thought there was one that was one. Yeah, there we go. Well, at least, you know, uh, I'm just... Fuck it. I'm not gonna even pretend. There you go. I just wasted an entire gallon or something. Are those gallons? Liters? I think they're in liters, aren't they? Hold on. If they're not here, that's right. Oh. Uh, yes, because it's still worth, well, it's really not actually worth using the alcohol, now that I think about it. 
It's almost worth having these on standby, just as a... Because, like, whenever I... If I'm in a trouble spot, I'm gonna need to use that one. Alright, workbench upgrade, and... Alright! We can now make all the things we can possibly make. Which means we don't need upgrades anymore. Can't upgrade any further. That's cool. Wait. Oh, okay. I can't repair the pills. They're just highlighted. Alright. You know, it... This doesn't make any sense just because of the sheer supply of pills that I have. Like, these are literally consequence free, and I have 15 of them. And then I have the bandages. Bandages are good for when it's like, well, you know, I, I don't need it now, but I do need it. The pills are. Like, I, I am being attacked. Please help. So. Alright. Well, I think... Well, do I have anything to... No, I don't. Cool. <sighs> I'm sorry for that rather uneventful uh, last probably 10 or 20 minutes of, of this episode. But, you know, that's, that's Darkwood. Unadulterated experience. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you next time.